वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द आयोडीन नंबर एसिड नंबर एंड रेंसिडिटी ऑफ फैट्स एंड ऑयल्स माय डियर स्टूडेंट व्हाट इज मेंट बाय द आयोडीन नंबर यू नो दैट फैट्स एंड ऑयल्स दे आर बेसिकली द मिक्सचर ऑफ द सैचुरेटेड एंड अनसैचुरेटेड ट्राइग्लिसराइड इफ देर इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ द सैचुरेटेड एंड अनसैचुरेटेड ट्राइग्लिसराइड इन विच the saturated triglycerides predominate then that tends to be a solid fat and if there is a mixture of the saturated and unsaturated triglyceride in which unsaturated triglyceride predominates then that is the liquid oil now my dear student how we can check the degree of unsaturation in a fat or oil how many double bonds are present in the fat and oil and what is the degree of unsaturation in a fat and oil that is expressed in terms of its iodine number which is defined as the number of grams of iodine that will add to 100 gram of a fat and oil my dear student if the fat and oil will be unsaturated then iodine will be added in the double bonds of that unsaturated fat or fat or oil so if a fat or oil has many double bonds then it will add many grams of the iodine but if a fat and oil has very limited number of the double bonds then very few grams or very less amount of the iodine will be added because addition reaction takes place at the double bonds if the number of double bonds is very high then more iodine will be added if the number of double bonds is very low then lesser amount of the iodine can be added so iodine number is basically how many grams of iodine will be added into the 100 gram of fat and oil and my dear students greater the amount of iodine added will show the greater number of the double bonds in the fat or oil it means that iodine number is directly proportional to the degree of unsaturation of the fat or oil and if there is a fat or oil which has no double bond in it then its iodine number will be zero because even not not even a single gram of the iodine can be added into the 100% saturated fat or oil my dear students the next one is acid number you know that when glycerol reacts with fatty acid then after the loss of the water molecule it results in the formation of fat my dear student this is an esterification reaction and fat is basically a triester of the glycerol keep in mind that when this esterification reaction takes place all molecules of the fatty acid they are not esterified but some fatty acids they remain free in the fat or oil and if we want to check that how many fatty acid molecules are in the free form in the fat or oil then we use a term which is called as the acid number acid number is the milligrams of qh which are required to neutralize 1 gram of a fat if a fat will be having large amount of the free fatty acids then many milligrams of the qh will be required to neutralize that fat but if a fat has very less amount of the free fatty acids then obviously very less amount of the qh will be required to neutralize that fat so basically acid number is directly proportional to the amount of the free fatty acid which are present in the fat or oil and free fatty acids are those fatty acids that do not get esterified with the glycerol and they are present in the free form in the fat or oil my dear students the last term is rancidity of fats and oils you know that fats and oils are liable to the spoilage and when they are spoiled they give off very unpleasant smell and this spoilage and giving of the unpleasant smell that is called as the rancidity of the fats and oils and this rancidity of fats and oils takes place due to some hydrolytic or oxidative reactions and my dear students as a result of the rancidity the foul smelling aldehydes and fatty acids are produced and dear students oils from the sea animals they have high degree of unsaturation in them so the chances of their uh, spoilage or chances of their getting rancid that is very high so the oil from the sea animals they rapidly deteriorate and they rapidly get rancid because of the high degree of unsaturation of oil in the case of the sea animal oil so this was about the sponification number acid number and rancidity of the fats and oils take care